are Lisa G with Your Tasty Life and we're back today with another episode and we are focusing on fitness today and I am so blessed to be with my good friend Dawn Davis. She's going to join us and whip my butt into shape along with your butts into shape <laughs> and I want to tell you a little bit about Dawn first. She has a really unique background that is awesome for me to tap on when I need fitness help. Uh, she's a registered nurse. She's also a lifetime athlete. She's an avid swimmer. Swimmer. She's currently an avid also crossfitter. So she Look is out. pretty <laughs> darn fit. She's one of my fittest friends, I'm telling you. And she's also a certified nutrition consultant. So we totally agree on all things nutrition as well. Yep. So what we're going to get into in today's video, Dawn is going to start us out with a couple of different routines we can do when we're not at a gym, or not at a fancy club. Things. I like to call them traveling workouts. Traveling workouts. So what prompted me to get Dawn aboard with uh, a taste, your Taste of Life video is she had a post on her Facebook page the other day and it was like, hey, I'm here and this is what I'm doing. And she was writing down all the, you know, had a post on all the things she did. I'm like, that is what I need because I'm the girl when I go on vacation or I go out of my hometown, I don't necessarily do my workouts like I need to. Or I know, I, who or wants to go to a gym? Yeah, when, I don't when feel like going to the yeah. hotel like thing. Yeah. I just want to deal with it. So I might go for walks or something. But so Dawn's going to get us in shape today and let's get started. All right, so here we are. We are at beautiful Lake Michigan on the lakefront and I'm with Dawn Davis and she's going to take us through a workout. Dawn, what are we getting into here? Well, let me tell you, let me tell you this morning. This is a perfect example. I missed my CrossFit class because I was out with my uh, nine-year-old Boston Terrier and she got involved with her doggy friends and I got involved with... <laughs> With the, with the moms and the dads, I missed my CrossFit class. I had a bunch of errands to run, so on my way doing my errands, I passed a high school. And the high school had a track, of course, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna stop there. It had bleachers so I could do steps, okay. I could do stairs. So I warmed up a little bit. I ran around the track um, two times, actually, so it was a, probably a total of about three minutes. I did some stretching. Mm -hmm. And then I began my workout. And we're gonna start with a very basic, a very beginner workout. Okay. And that's gonna include four moves, or four exercises, I should, I should say. And one is uh, stair climbing. Okay. We're gonna go up and down the stairs, just at a very easy pace. We're gonna come back down, and we're gonna do air squats. Then we're gonna do push-ups. And then we're gonna do what's called parallel or lateral jumps across this crack. All right, very simple. You do that for about 10 to 15 minutes. Got if it. If you want to go longer, go got longer. It. If so, you don't... Got it. Yep. Four exercises, 10 to 15 minutes, yep. a place to start, not stop. So right. This is to get us going. Right. We missed a workout, we put this in. That's, so let's get yep. going. All right. So just walk up easy. You know, stairs can be kind of uh, tiring after a while. Well, but I never, you know, something as simple as stairs. Right. I, mean, so we touch it. I never right. even thought of just adding stairs. And you can always find stairs. So you're walking. You can find them in a, a stadium, a track. Yeah. You can find them anywhere. All right, next we're going to do 10 air squats. Lisa's yeah. going to go in front of me. And the point of the air squats, you get shoulder length apart, shoulder width, excuse me, apart. Go. And you're going to go down and the point what I want to make here is you want your butt lower than your knee. So this, yeah. is, this is parallel. I want her to go a little bit lower and then back up. So we're going to do this 10 times. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, Lisa. Nine. Last one. 10. Ten. Last one, or, I'm sorry, the third exercise, we're going to do push-ups. Okay. And a lot of beginners may say, I can't do a push-up. That's why we're doing beginning push-ups. Okay. So we're going to go on the steps. We're only going to do five. What we're going to do is we're going to grab a hold of the step, okay. spread our feet apart, okay. and we're just going to do five push-ups. Oh, okay. So one, one, easier to, yeah, it's easy, much easier this way. You can put your feet in more if that's easier for you. Last one. And then the very last exercise, I, I just right. had a bug float, fly in my ear. Ooh. We're going to do 10 okay. parallel jumps. So we're going to jump over. So find a crack 
or find something else that you can jump across Got it. and do it 10 times. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! And then repeat that for 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever you want to do. That's the beginning exercise routine. All right, so here Don and I, we are just doing some stretching after our first workout, our traveling basic workout. Any final words, Don? I would say for the beginner workout, the thing that you sh should probably uh, be focused on is start easy. Mm. Okay, so start really easy. Make sure you warm you're warming up beforehand. So don't just go up and down those steps right away. Stretch a little bit and make sure whatever you do that you're well hydrated. Awesome. I think that's really key because that's gonna that's going to minimize injury. It's also going to minimize your you know you're not going to be as dehydrated. Yeah, help so, your muscles recover yeah. better. All that good yeah. stuff. Yeah, and then when you're done, make sure that you're cooling down. So stretching again afterwards. Got it. So thank you so much, Don, again for being here today. You're welcome. That'll be a wrap for today. Get busy enjoying your tasty life.